In my CPT symmetry video, I have discussed you that how the Wu experiment detected the violation of parity symmetry by weak interactions. Since after that a search for relating the electromagnetic and weak forces had begun. In year 1979, three physicists Sheldon Glashow, Abdes Salam and Steven Winberg were awarded with a Nobel Prize because they had succeeded in stabilizing the relation between electromagnetic forces and weak forces. They stated that in the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang, when our universe was about billionth of a billion second old, having temperature of 10 to the power 15 Kelvin, at that time both forces were in the merged state. After that, when our universe cooled down, both separated and formed the electromagnetic and weak forces. But here the question arises that how we confirm that this theory was correct or not. Before answering this question, first of all understand what were the problems faced by those physicists to give this theory. From studying the other research papers, they have concluded that to introduce this concept they need three new particles in which one particle will be photon and other two particles were the gauge bosons which were not known at that time. Let's make a list of these problems for better understanding. First, it required two or more particles to explain this electroweak theory, that is Gauss bosons. Second, photon has no mass, but as per calculation, it was found that Gauss boson have mass. So this theory need one more particle, which can explain the distribution of mass among photon and these Gauss bosons. Third, Photon has no charge, so Gauss bosons should also be in a neutral state. Let me explain this problem one by one. For the need of two particles, they introduced it as a W and Z boson. Second, they took the help of the Higgs mechanism, which explains the distribution of mass among particles. Third, to balance the charges, they said W boson came in pair of two particles, W plus boson and another W minus boson which neutralizes each other and Z boson has no charge and spin. So if we understand it from the beginning, the forces were in combined state as an electroweak force. When the universe cooled down, the force separated into two new forces. The point at which these forces separated is called spontaneous symmetry breaking, where Higgs mechanism does his work by providing mass to the particles except photon and afterwards the particle become the carrier of the forces. So for the confirmation of this theory, it was necessary to have three new particles in this nature, which are W and Z bosons and Higgs boson. In CERN, after 10 years long experiment, it was confirmed in 1983 that they had discovered the W and Z boson by colliding high energy proton and antiproton. Finally, in year 2012, this story came to an end when the Higgs boson was discovered. Now let us talk about the conclusion of this theory. This theory is one of the major discovery of 20th century. It is considered as one of the pillar of the standard model of particle physics. At the time of Big Bang, the photon and gauge bosons were unified to form a single particle. It was the first step towards the grand unified theory. So guys that's all for this video, please don't go without liking this video. And if you think that my content was good then please share this video and subscribe my channel. At last, thank you for watching.